Welcome to the brightest room. It's just, it's a good feeling helping being around them kids. They welcoming you, you know, they, they're they ready to talk to you, learn about you, you know, especially something that's, that's not being like taken care of, uh, you know, that's real low on money and stuff like that. It's real good to be around them. Hi. Can you say good morning to Marquise? Good morning, everybody. Hi, guys. They're already looking you up, so they probably want to be like, oh, like, hey, that's Marquise, that's my role model right there. Look like a movie at the chair. <laughs> We're so glad you came to read today. You learn new things every day about them, and like everybody's life is not easy. How many of you like Ole Miss football? Me. Uh, I used to cheer for. If it we wasn't football right now, I'd basically be trying to provide scholarships for them. You know, they have to be more successful in life, uh, chasing their goals to be the next best thing. They want to be best football, basketball, it don't matter. This is a very exciting class <laughs> with a lot of good knowledge. So do you think maybe you might come back sometime? I would love to come back sometime. Yeah, Angie. I'm not surprised that Marquise is doing a lot of community service, you know, here in the Oxford area. You know, he has a huge heart. See y'all later. It's awesome to see a guy with that talent, uh, you know, that's that's looked upon, that's a role model, actually go out and be a part of the, of the community. It made me feel great, you know, to give back to the community and read to them. It's something I want to do after I leave on this for my uh, degree. Just to do a bunch of community things with the kids, you know, make sure, you know, they keep their mind right, positive, and stay on the right track and just don't fall off the wrong way. And, you know, always help them achieve their goals the best way I can. I want to be there to like help to support them. All them people who they want dream to be in, I want to help provide that dream for them to let them know like, hey, anything's possible. You just put your mind to it and, you know, just go succeed. That's all I want to do is just help them. If there's one thing Marquise Haynes will never do, it's quit helping children. That's why during the off season, he was recognized for his hard work away from the field. I was really surprised to win 38, you know. I, I know a lot of people felt like they ain't make him proud, but I'm pretty sure he's happy right now. Smile on everybody who wore 38 so far. I think it's very fitting. I think he represents the qualities that you need to represent that jersey. He is a leader off the field. He's a great player on the field. And he just, you know, I think, um, I think Chucky would say they got the right guy with Marquis. Not only is he a, he's a good football player, but he's also a uh, a great a great young man. He's everything that you that you want um, in your program. They gave the Chucky Mullen number to the right person. That's all I can say. <laughs> he he's for real. To have it wearing this 38 it just means that my my business here is not yet finished until after this season, and I still got to represent Chucky Mullins for all the sacrifice he did for his team. And I guess I'm I'm just learning more and more every day about who I really am. I feel like he really deserved the Chuck A. Mullins Award. People say you shouldn't have role models that are on your team. He's a role model for me because he shows, it shows you how much hard work can get you. He does the right things when nobody's looking. So, so he's one of those guys where, you know, he, he's a leader, a natural born leader. You know, he may not say a lot, but he leads by example. So that's, that's really Marquise Haynes for you. <laughs> it's a lot of more hard work and a lot of more things I have to do to be able to, to wear this number to make him proud. I guess I'm a good role model and my character carries and I'm just here to lead the defense. I'm, I'm happy for him for getting 30, 38. He deserves it. He's a, he's a natural leader, a beast, and uh, he, works, he works hard every day and it definitely pays off on the field. Haynes' character off the field is supplemented by a booming on-field personality. Woo! Yeah, Mississippi! You ain't gonna hit nobody today. You ain't gonna hit nobody. I'm gonna see that country come out, huh? I'm gonna see that country come out, huh? Wake up! 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 Wake up!
Well, we give them the talk, man. We can't let them talk all day, man. We cannot let O-line talk all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all you do is talk. Hey, hey, start talking more action. Start talking more action. He's a great defense end. I feel like he could play linebacker, defense end. It doesn't matter. He's just a great athlete. He's what I call a scheme changer. His athletic ability presents problems that you have to plan for. And there are certain schemes that you can't do or certain protections you can't run when he's on the field. Play action. And hit and drop balls on the ground and recovered by Ole Miss at the eight. Haynes with the stick. Marquise Haynes came around that weak side. Play action. Etlin never saw him coming. Planted him right in the chest. Oh, Keith's a monster on the field. Every game, I'm expecting Keith to get at least two sacks because uh, how fast he is off the edge, and like I don't think any line making uh, gauge of speed. Pressure from Haynes on third down. Ball is loose. Oh, Marquise Haynes told us third and long. It's hunting season. Watch the ball get off. The first step, the ability to get around. The offensive lineman here, and this is a young, inexperienced Memphis offensive My lineman. first step is just me lunging out there, just jumping because I'm so explosive about the ball, and that's what help carries me. Second down seven. There's the snap, and this time Hurt is hammered. I turn around, and all I see is Keith about to lay the boom. I'm just like, yes, and like slow mo. I feel like it was in slow motion. I was on the field, and I almost dropped my mouthpiece. Picked up by the Rebels, Youngblood. He's motoring to the house. And all I seen was Jalen Hurst this holding the ball, and I said, oh, this couldn't be the best present ever. And all I know, I just hit him with all I had, and the ball came up. John Little picked up, he just ran to the touchdown. But the Rebels hammered the quarterback, Marquise Haynes, got hurt, and then Youngblood takes it to the house for the score. Hey, you got Keith rushing out the edge. Young blood scoop and score. They don't get no better than that. Hey, sack, sack, close, bumble, number one playing college football. Period. You know, you can't block Marquise Haynes one on one all day long. You can't do it. I think about some of the great pass rushers I've been around throughout my 30 year career. I mean, he's, he's right there. You really don't know what he is because he's not a human to me. You know, he, he's a defensive lineman who can run faster 40s than some of the guys, some of the skilled guys on our team. I mean, he's one of the best athletes, if not the best, I've ever been around, you know, playing with. And I'm really happy he's not chasing me every game.